Hey everybody, it's Robin Scrimger and Taylor Crawford here with our monthly market update. And today we're actually down at the Coldwell Banker office. We are in the showroom for Grand and Fur and the Proxima. So if you're looking for some new developments, it's a great opportunity. Come on down. Uh, you can book a private appointment here. But without further ado, we're just going to roll right into the month that was January. And surprisingly enough, we're starting to see a bit of a shift. While we still have significantly more active listings than we did this time last year, about 1,734 versus 744, we are seeing activity increase again from a buying perspective. Certainly on listings, we're getting more offers. And in some cases, we're actually even seeing multiple offers again. So, you know, what we're seeing from an activity perspective and also statistically, which we'll touch on, is that the market seems to be shifting uh, back into one of, of more activity. So time will tell. We'll see what happens as we roll into the spring. But certainly it's looking, you know, more strong anyway. Absolutely. Um, I'll just let Taylor take it away with the stats for single family homes. Hi everyone. So starting things out in Greater Victoria, the average benchmark price for single family detached ended January at 1.17 million. And uh, that is down 1.6% over last month and down 3.6% year over year. Uh, into the core of Victoria, benchmark pricing for single family detached now sits at 1.251 million. This is down 2.5% over last month and down 3.5% year over year. Heading on out to the West Shore, benchmark pricing now sits at an even $1 million, and this is just down a mere 0.1% over last month and down 2.3% over last year. Heading on out to the Peninsula, we are now sitting at a benchmark price of $1.198 million. This is down 0.2% over last month and down 2.2% over last year. Over to Robin, condo update. Condos, trends a little different here and, and rather interesting. So benchmark price, when we look at the greater Victoria area, we're looking at 569,000. This is actually up 1.1% month over month. And over the year, we're actually up 3.1% for the condo market. When we get to the core, the benchmark price is 578,000. And that's actually up 0.7% over December. And uh, over the year, it's up 3%. As we move out to the West Shore, we're looking at a benchmark price of 502500 This is ever so slightly down from last December, 0.3% and up 3.6% year over year. Rounding it out in the peninsula, uh, we have a benchmark price of 610000 And actually, sh shockingly, this benchmark price is up 7% over December and up 3.3% over last year. Taylor, what's happening with townhomes? Yeah, so we had a pretty strong performance for townhomes, especially when we look at it year over year. So uh, in Greater Victoria, average benchmark price of a townhome is now sitting at 785000 This is down just 0.7% over last month. However, it's up 2.6% year over year. Uh, into the core, now sitting at 860700 And this is down 1.4% month over month and up 3.6% year over year. Uh, heading out to the West Shore, we are now sitting at 718500 This is up 1.5% over last month and up 3.9% year over year. And finishing things off on the peninsula, we are now sitting at a benchmark price of 749000 This is down 3.6% uh, month over month and down 2.4% year over year. So this is where we saw the sharpest decline in benchmark pricing for townhomes. Well, wow, some super interesting stats. If you want the full stats package, we've got it linked here below. If you have questions about buying or selling, we are here to help. And so please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, in the meantime, enjoy all the Victoria has to offer and have a great day. Bye everyone.